Hello, remotest tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 3, Chapter 6 of Scenario 3, with me, Luinkilo, the capital of the far north. So I think, I think, we're pretty much there. Pretty much at the end game. We found it! The ancient road! How far behind the Symbiost army are we? I bet they're way ahead of us. Well, they probably didn't have to fight the Ice Witch, or travel through the mountains. I don't know. The Symbios army is nowhere to be seen. They must be pretty far ahead. We must hurry to catch up with them! Should've just taken a boat with Medion. Probably would've been here at the same time. Hold on, you two. First of all, we have to rest and get supplies. We should also gather any information we can about the Symbios army. Yeah, if they went through here, I expect they raised a ruckus. Let's find out how far Sinbios is ahead of us before we continue. I see a village. I don't know if this is remotest for sure, but we must be getting close. Right, King Benetrim. We are all tired after, the, after this trip through the snow. It's actually surprisingly green up here, even further north. Dodhort, would you mind? Could you please go ahead to the village and ask around about the Sinbios army? Sure, no problem. I mean, we'll be there in like 10 seconds, but... Did you like kick him out of the group for a reason? Is he like a spy? Benetrim, do you know something I don't know? Is he secretly a bull zone priest? Because like, we're going to be there in a second. In fact, the time it took to explain what I want you to do, probably we could have just got here. Leaving Dormant Village. We will reach the capital soon. I guess this is dormant. We're in the doormat village. Remotus, that's right. That's where Bullzolm is. Or at least his temple. Those awful rainblitz and masked monks have been rather quiet recently, but I'm sure they have some more surprises for us. Ah, we've seen the last of them. Yes, as we proceed, they will likely try to stop. No, no, you're never going to see them again. If they have something planned, I bet they will spring it at the volcanic mountain up ahead. We can't let our guard down until we reach- You can't let your guard down in remotest either. Like, basically, we're going to the Bolzom Temple where the god of vandals lives, basically. A volcanic mountain? The volcano of Dormant? Shouldn't the fairy that lives here know more about this than anyone else? Yeah, that. There has never been an active volcano in Dormant mountain range. But looking up ahead, a mountain does appear to be active. I mean, is it a volcano or not? The mountains of Dormant may not have been active previously, but they appear to be active now. Well, whatever. Just say it's a volcano, I'm fine. Uh, by the way, what happened to Dornhort? Uh, yeah, what happened to Dornhort? <laughs> Let's just repeat the question. Oh look, it's Dornhort! Yeah, what happened to Dornhort? Seriously, what happened to Don Hort? You didn't find out anything! You're useless! Well, not only was there no information, it appears the Sinbios army has not reached this village. I can't believe that! Uh, well, as far as I've heard, that's the case. We're the first to arrive! According to the villagers. If that's so, what happened to the Symbios army? Well, it must have been the Rainbloods. They probably did something to delay this army. Or killed him, and they're all dead. That's the only thing I can think of. Rainbloods, mmm, painbloods, yeah. What should we do, Julian? Should we go back to the ancient road and look? Nah, he'll catch up. Now, I know you have faith in Symbios, but since they are far from Ancient Road, we really should look for them. Oh, that's silly. That'd be fine. If that's... Benetrim's decision, then we must hurry, Julian, because you're not the leader anymore. You've been replaced. As soon as our preparations are done, we must leave the village and go backwards. Because Symbios isn't here. And I just walk out of the room. Don't even say goodbye. I'm like, screw you. I'm out of here. Anyway, this place looks fun. They got, like, bubbling streams. 
So, the fact that there's geological activity in the area means you uh, probably have hot springs or something. Might smell of sulfur, and then eventually the volcano blows up and there's a magma that, you know, basically turns it into Pompeii. <sighs> Alright, so... The Holy River meets here. That's great. Okay. Cool. Lots of stuff happening up north of the Great Wall that I think maybe we'd be interested in learning about. Wow, a soldier! I've never seen a soldier before! Oh, come on. Just talk to the girl. Uh, you are you live right next to Remotist. Wouldn't you guys know about Remotist? Seeing as there's evil monks and vandals, just it's like your neighbor, basically. I heard the dormant volcano was born of the clashing of light and dark. Hmm. Sure. Tall tales. Right. I mean, I don't know how you guys, you villagers, survive up here with there's all the monsters around. I mean, I get that the Holy River is supposed to keep them at bay, but... Seems to be an awful lot of monsters. Can I sneak around? Okay, we're gonna need to find a way out the back door of this building to get that treasure. Let's, let's try to find that before I forget about it. Looks like we found a bar. If your friends left Oro Village that much ahead of you, they should have already passed. They really didn't leave that much ahead of us. It's like, Zinbayas left, then we went and picked up Benetrim and followed him. They're like, at best, like a few hours ahead of us. And we supposedly took a shortcut. I honestly don't understand why we're having such a hard time. Um, there's a cave. You can shelter. Yeah, we have we not been there. Oh. Oh, maybe that's gonna be like a ruins on the way out of here. Go we'll steal some treasure. Winter's right around the corner. Better get some ale. It seems like there's an awful lot of normal civilization north of the wall. These guys aren't even like acting like wildlings. It's crazy. Can I steal some ale from your treasure? Yeah! Ori Calcum, even better than ale! Says nobody ever. Alright. Hot spring seekers. Like, really, there's like, there's trade and travel. Like, maybe the Bolzo monks aren't as bad as the, uh, the southerners think, and everything north of the Great Wall is actually just normal. There's monsters everywhere, it doesn't matter if you're north or south of the Great Wall, and apparently the people up here are fine. <laughs> Over-exaggeration, and they built this giant wall to block off travel. Oh. Well, that's different. Well, I'll take it if that's how I get my treasure. Hey, the Dragon Man Claw! Yeah, I told you there was a special claw for uh, the Dragon Man. So let's pass that over. I'm not sure if it's much better than the Orichalcum version. It's probably about the same. I'm also not sure if it comes... I should probably check. I'm not sure if it comes with uh, the magic type weapon advantage, which was very, very good with the Tiger Claw. But it gives him a critical bonus, so he gets more criticals on normal attacks than his old weapon, right? Well, you know, 5% more, probably. That's probably better. More damage, even if it loses the weapon advantage over um, almost everything. I mean, like, the magic-type weapon effect seems really strong, but... Uh, I mean, we get changed dragons, so we probably can turn into a dragon and do a special attack. That seems like it's worth it. We're basically playing Breath of Fire now. Uh, let me just look it up, just for interest's sake here. I've got my page open. Claws. So, if you used magic, the Orichalcum Claw would be better, because it gives you a, a better magic improvement. The Orichalcum Claw does do one more damage than the Dragon Man Claw. The Dragon Man Claw is considered a magic weapon, so that's even better. That's the same as the Tiger Claw. And the Orichalcum Claw does not have a critical bonus. It has a fancy skill and fire resistance, but no critical. So I think this is definitely the better choice. Um, and it saves us an Orichalcum, so that's simple. And it's not even hard to find. I mean, who 
who doesn't check all of the uh, closets by now? At this point in the game, you know. Alright. It's start to this town, anyway. My parents really love the hot springs. That's no excuse. Hot springs are awesome. Dormant in register. My battle-injured body was easily healed. Even the sweat from my mask felt good. So that's like a masked monk that came here to get healed. Trouble, trouble. I wonder who that is. Probably someone that we've beaten up, actually, and then came here to get healed by Jane. You discover a secret diary, so you don't look at it. No fun at all. Alright. I think we're done in here. We got the Orichalcum, we got the new Claw. I guess we've kind of cemented uh, Cyclops on the final team now. Ah, that's pretty cool. He's definitely turned out stronger than I expected. I like it. Alright. Hmm. Specialty of the Northern Region. Well, I mean, there's a good chance of hot springs in any geologically active area. It doesn't have to be up in the north, but that's cool. Also, I guess if it's healing illnesses, it might have something to do with that holy river. He might be right. I don't know. We haven't explored the southern regions that much. Hey, old man. Does the hot spring keep you alive? To be fair, hot springs on a cold day, there's not much that feels better than that. I, I will definitely agree. Hot springs or hot tubs, whatever you're using. They don't have electricity yet, so... All you can do. Hey, a little bit of money! That'll add to the half a million we've got in the bank right now. Alright, there's a guy back here... So, was there hot springs before the volcano got active? Hmm, also, this looks sketchy. We're gonna go spy on some girls in the hot springs if I know anything about anime. Um... Okay, so that's the main area. Headquarters was on this corner. We never went into these buildings at all. I'm just worried about the hot springs. It seems like a bad idea. The portions of the Holy River that flow from Oral Village and Remotus merge here. I wonder, I guess the river from Remotus is like the evil river and it probably just kills you. So the fact that the river mixes together and goes into the ocean. I don't understand. It's probably trouble. That's all I'm trying to say. Dormant hot spring precautions. If you have a fever or otherwise feel ill, refrain from taking a bath. Those with allergies should also... Allergies of what? <laughs> Allergic to water? If you must leave the village during winter, make sure you take some food with you and some furs. Two mechanics that are not in this game at all. Don't worry about it. Uh, learn the wisdom of the North, and pass your time indoors. Yay, goddess tier. Sure. At this point, not that important. And I'll never use them ever again. Okay, we talked to that guy. Must be a weapon shop for too much longer. Uh, blacksmith? Smithy! Alright, well we could probably make some Orichalcum weapons. There might be some more in this town, more out Orichalcum, but we've got like four ready to go? That's not bad, at least. Five! Alright, well who needs an Orichalcum weapon? Um, well, we'll do this on camera, why not? Um, priorities. We've got an Orichalcum halberd, Orichalcum bow, we have an Orichalcum wand, we could make an Orichalcum wand for Bridget, but it just gives Spark. Does it give like a defense bonus as well? Because it might be better than the Sleepy Rod if it does. It gives you four defense? That's not bad. I think it just gives you four defense. Hmm, maybe. I should consider making some Mithril Onks. Like, there's some... I really, I guess I should take some time. At, between episodes I'll do it and really set up my um, secondary weapons for spells because I could probably get Isabella, like she wants, it's nice to have 
I'm gonna want to hold on to the support spell. Thanatos, I probably don't care about. Zephyrus is good, so we'll hold on to those two. But I could probably replace these two weapon slots with... If I can find a weapon that gives you resistance, that would be a really good spell. Um, seeing as I didn't bring anyone on the team that has that. And I don't know if there's anything else I want to pick up for her. And then the same thing with Bridget, right? Like, it's nice to have an emergency heal. I don't know when to go... I, like, I don't know. I don't know when I'd use those summons, but... Oh, well, so it's supposed to be... Okay, let's explore this place. I need to pick out Orichalcum. <laughs> Keep sidetracking myself. The armory map. Okay, so that's the next ruins. Maybe there's no uh, monsters in it if it's just a storage area, I guess. Should I just make... Like, I'm just... I'm trying to think. Like, should I just make the Orichalcum weapons because they are sort of the best in the game? They generally have the highest attack value anyway. Even if we lose on on the weapon advantages, because I don't spend much time, you know, micromanaging who... Like, I don't spend a lot of time changing weapons based on weapon advantage, although you, you could. Hmm. So, like, the Nebula Rapier is good. We should, maybe, maybe the first priority should be to make sure everyone has one. Right? Like, so you've got a, a one... You can only equip one at a time. So, like, we've got a Nebula Rapier, we've got a Lord Sword... Honesty has a Orichalcum wing. She doesn't need a next one. Maybe I should make an Orichalcum axe? We don't need Orichalcum here. I guess not a lot of people even use Orichalcum, honestly. You can save it for the B team or Symbios and Julian. Symbios and Medion. We could make Spear. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot of people that are like high priority Orichalcums right now, other than second weapons, right? Like I could make an Orichalcum Halberd, although I've already got one for Don Hort. Could make the Orichalcum Mace. I've already got the hatchet and the sword, we could make the spear. We could make the lance. I guess Leon doesn't have one. I could make him the flame hatchet, it would do more damage but less range. Let me just check the stats on the axe. Uh, but we'll probably do it anyway. So the Gaia Axe is... Well, it's got the regeneration effect, the defense. The Orichalcum Axe doesn't have either of those. He doesn't have the Aura either, so I guess I'll still hold on to the Gaia Axe. The Dragon Axe, which we don't have, is the only one with the magic property, and this doesn't have either. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll make... It'll do more damage one way or the other, so... Let's clean up some inventory here. I am actually considering saving some of these, like... Oh wait, I have to actually equip the axe. That would have made a hatchet axe, definitely. My bad. This is why I tend to do this off-camera. So much micromanagement. I still... I, th I You know what? We'll make this one on camera. Because I really don't know what I want to spend the rest on, I think I'll still do it in between episodes. So... Just to prove that it's really not difficult, but like... I don't know who I want to make it for. Or I, I, I may honestly just decide to not spend it all. I'm pretty sure we can save it in the, um... We can save the Orichalcum medal in the storage. And at the end of the game, once we have all the other forces a a a accessible, we can make Orichalcum weapons for, uh... For, uh... Medion and Symbios. So you can see, like, it's got a pretty good damage up, but we lose out on the agility and the defense, and also the HP regeneration. So, I don't know, I mean, like, is that really much better? You, you tell me. I think we definitely want to hold on to his old axe, though. Um, at least for the aura effect. Because having him able to switch out and heal is not a terrible idea. But, I mean, there you go, it's, it's fire resistance and everything is pretty cool. Oh, we should use the uh, power wine before I forget. Seeing as I always forget this sort of stuff. We'll sell that. We'll find the weapon shop soon enough. So who should we give a little bit more uh, base attack power to? I don't know. Don Hort, a little bit low, but I think his main weapon will be higher. Thousand. There's not a lot of ways we can boost Thousand's attack power. So like, I'm only, I guess we should just give it to someone who's got less than a hundred. That's kind of ridiculous. All right, Don Hort, there you go. <laughs> I mean, 
I think that'll mean with his main weapon. Yeah, he's, he's way over 100 with that. But, like, he only has one weapon that's range 2. So his range 2 weapon is a little bit stronger now. And, well, his range 1 is as well. It's just, you know. It's kind of overkill. Alright, well, there's clearly some more um, weapon crafting I'll do off camera. I will go back with some large mithrils, which I'm pretty sure we can buy or have a couple of. And um, I might make some spell casting specifically weapons. But I mean, there's Orichalcum everywhere. The thing is, you might need to save Orichalcum on Julian's run for the other forces, because they don't really get a mission where they can find Orichalcum the same. We'll talk about that later on, once we finally find them. I don't know where Sinbios even is right now. Sinbios is missing. Has two Goddess Tears, a couple Orichalcums. Found most of the loot in this trip, this town already. What is that? Oh, it's another headquarters. But there's nobody here. Hmm. I wonder if that will change ever. <laughs> well, we've got. Let's see. I thought there'd be. So what was this? The blacks? No, this this will be the weapon shop. We got a couple a couple buildings left in it, and the church. Alright, so this will be the weapon shop. I'm gonna check the weapon shop for loot. Not a whole lot. Obviously. There could be something in here I missed, but. Like, I haven't been checking, like, the wood piles. Usually there's nothing on just the random scenery, but it's usually barrels and boxes, obviously. Okay, so, weapon shop. What's new? Possibly a couple different mithril weapons on sale higher here. Um, not that we're using mithril weapons anymore, but... I think these are all mithril tier. Um, some of them are definitely good. You know, I, I really do like some of these mithril weapons. Silence. That's not the kind of onk I care about. Orals. I mean, I'll probably want to equip my B team at some point, although maybe... Actually, you know how like at the end of Scenario 1 and 2 there was a double battle where you had to use the B team? I think Julian's B team is actually not necessary. I don't know if they ever get a battle. If you, if you don't bring them into the main party, I don't think they get any use. Which means you'll never get to see Penko and uh, Jubei and... Uh... Primula and uh, Marky, which is kind of sad, actually. I should at least show them off. So, that's the kind of Ankh I'd probably want to pick up for um, Bridget, or Isabella. Just so we have resistance. Um, I think when we came into this town, there should have been a couple new weapons that popped up in the deals here. Let me just check. So, there should be a new glove and a new wing that showed up. Let's see here. I think the Pretty Glove, if we hadn't already sold him one, this would have appeared. And this wing, which is actually better than Mithril, I believe, is just not as good as Orichalcum. And I think we had this for um, Eldar, and or maybe uh, Zero. I can't remember which ones we found. Yeah, the Zero wing is technically better than the Mithril weapons by like one damage. But it's not as good as the full metal wing, so forget about that. Um, Alright, so that's the same. There is one more uh, Hegel, and this one's kind of interesting. So we're going to get the Hegel. It might take a minute. I don't know if this is... It looks like a pretty good Hegel. So this might be like a low odds sort of thing that takes a long time. Hopefully not too long. We'll go... If it takes five more tries, I'll speed it up. Three more times. Or... Four more tries. Three more tries. Don't make me do it. Two more tries. Okay, we got him. Good. I will appreciate the quality of that. So let's adjust the sword. Um, he'll leave it on display. Thanks, buddy. So yeah, now we can buy that for somebody if we want. Again, I think we'll be able to buy this for the other team as well. The other teams. Uh, just later. So the justice sword, I think... Is that the weapon that they gave us for... 
Symbios? I think it is. Which means we've got one in the, uh, the storage already. And I think only the heroes can equip it. So, if I remember correctly, even if you wanted to give this to somebody else... Yeah, Produn should be able to equip sword-type weapons. But this will be, mean that it's only equipable by Julian, Symbios, and Medion. Which means, realistically, only Symbios. And we've already got one, so... I mean, it's pretty good. Holy Elemental. It's got a special skill. It's got a really high attack power. It's not quite as good as the Ori Calcum sword, if you want to make that. And again, we're probably not because there's probably a better one anyway. So that's... Okay, never mind. I thought that might be a valuable weapon. It sounded cool. But uh, if it's hero only, then that doesn't help. Okay. Check for loot. I check for treasure. It feels cool to rob people. Regarding long winters by the village chief, when couples spend many cold days together, their families <laughs> grow. <laughs> yeah, read between the lines. <laughs> Just don't overpopulate uh, during the cold winters. Well, I guess there's nothing to do but to do but to stay inside and bundle up together. It seems spring will never come, so we just... Yeah, I get ya. <laughs> Probably would have been changed in the translation. Alright, well, there's a couple... There's actually a surprisingly large town, I have to admit. Hey, small mithril! Well, I don't think I need any more accessories right now, but it's nice to know that I could make some. There is like a magic ring you can build, and if you used it as an item, you can you can recover some MP from it. So you can make that with spare small mithril. It breaks eventually, but you know, it's not bad for a reusable MP recharger. Ah, it's impossible to get to remotest by boat. So where is Medion going to get off? Around here? Oh, we're going to lose the Holy River's protection. Not that it's done much to help us so far, I don't think. Frozen Sea is expanding across the region. Huh. Well, I guess as winter approaches, maybe the Frozen Sea expands. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I thought this might happen. So, technically, Marky is a witch, but that's a level 2 promotion. Although Primula and Jube need some level ups, so would Pendolf, I guess, and Harold. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about Harold. Um, Marky started at higher than level 20, so we might as well just promote her. So if we ever do decide to use her, she gets a pretty huge buff here. Alright, so that's fine for now. We just saved it. I suppose we should check out the hot springs, though. And the item shop. Actually, we definitely want to check the item shop. I feel like I've been pretty thorough about finding loot in this one, actually. And there's- we've, we've gathered up a lot of treasure so far. We have a spring that heals all his illnesses. So no one buys anything. <laughs> you just should sell bottled water, honestly. Alright, so... I don't think they're smart enough to sell bottled spring water. Um, could buy some delicious meat. We don't need any of that. Uh, ninja armor, everything else is, we've seen before. What about the deal section? So... We still can buy large mithril if you want to make some of those weapons. And buy Ori Calcum, which we might as well buy. I'll probably end up putting... Either I'll craft it into something... Oh, that's the wrong person. Well, even if I don't uh, use it, I'll put it in the storage for later. In fact, honestly. I'd rather just have it in our inventory than have to come back to the shop. Alright. Now, I think there's some Hagels here as well. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, there's one Ori Calcum and three Hagels. Oh, man. Alright, wish me luck. Alright, good start. 
And that's one Ori Calcum. Good, good. And we'll give that to somebody to store for later. You know what, Mark? You can store it. And there are two more Hangles. Don't make me stay all day. You were really nice with that first Ori Calcum there, lady. You know, you don't get enough business here anyway. You were just you are just complaining that the hot spring steals all your business. You should really be more, uh... You know what? She just wants us to keep coming back because she's lonely. I get it. Alright, we got number two. And it's a dark helmet. Well, I don't really care. That's the advanced uh, ninja type equipment that really doesn't matter much. Um, I say advanced, it's it's just 5 defense and 10 crit. I mean, it's it's not bad, but your ninjas, I mean, unless you're going for a magic ninja, I don't know. I don't know. I like, I like the plus 5 attack, plus 5 defense power ring better, I think. I don't think a 10% higher crit rate is as good as 5 more damage on every attack. Anyway, there's one left. Honestly, our Hagels have gone pretty quick today. We've had pretty good luck, I feel. Come on, one more. How to get all the goodies. Alright, that wasn't too bad. So there you go, more Ori Calcum. So we get to buy three Ori Calcum, we found a bunch. I'm pretty sure by now we have more than enough Ori Calcum for everyone on our force for, you know, at least one weapon. If you're trying to make an Orichalcum weapon for all of Spiriel and Prodoon's weapons, you know, all the multi-weapon users, you'll probably burn it out. So we probably won't do that. Can we talk to this guy? Yesterday, a ship came up from the river and stopped, then sailed toward Oral. And then another ship showed up. Well, one of those has to be Midian, and one of them will be, uh, probably the Rainbloods, I guess. If you came for the hot springs, don't hold back. Hop right in. It's really bubbly. You'll be boiled alive. There's a pair of underwear with a name. <laughs> awesome. Now, I believe I did check one thing in the guide. There is one table that has something on it. This is the one that had it on it. Trust me, other than that, I didn't look up any, uh, any hints. I just, you know, sometimes, uh, I, I... I check through the guide for odd hidden items, like something hidden on a table that I'd never click on. So another plus two luck, um, I could give it to Julian and then make him a better knife out of Ori Calcum, because we're only using the killing knife for uh, protection from instant death. I think I'll give it to Gracia though, because instant death status ailments are kind of a problem for him because he can't equip a knife. If we'd given him both lucky cookies, we could get his luck to ten. but. I don't do status infliction spells hardly ever, so unlike scenario one where I'm like, maybe we should give the lucky cookies to our mages so that they can use soul steal and sleep and stuff. Nowadays I'm like, ah, oh, let's just give it to the heroes so that they don't get killed or put to sleep, because, you know, that's, that's my logic anyway. Hey old man. Ah, such a nice bath. Now I can die happy. All I needed was one bath, and I can die happy. I don't know if we can even get in there, actually. Glad I went out of my way to come here. Hopefully you don't get killed by monsters. A community bathhouse. So everyone can come together naked. Oh, but you're not allowed to have sex. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that image. Um, I guess we're not allowed in it. We're, uh too young. Although apparently our penguin is in there and somehow he made a plastic flotation device in uh, early uh, Steam Revolution era. He's a magic penguin, clearly. Alright, well, that's enough of that. Hopefully you enjoyed your hot spring adventure because that's all we're ever going to do. We'll never be back. We might be back. Alright, let me just double check my list of loot. I think we got everything though. There was one small mithril, one claw, goddess tear, three orichalcums, I believe we found all of that. Box by the well, barrel behind the counter, box in a inn. 
the money, the happy cookie or lucky cookie, a couple potions, the ruins map, and another god goddess tier. I think we got everything. I may have missed one of the Orichalcums, but I don't think so. So I think I will end our episode for today. I clearly have some inventory management to do. We gotta move some stuff around, and I'll, I'll sell. I'll probably end up selling stuff like the evil ring because we just never use it. it. Just takes up space. Um, I have to hold on to that ruin map. Yeah, I want to have a look at some people's uh, magic rods, clean up some inventory. Can s I probably end up saving? I, I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it between episodes. But yeah, I think we're in a good shape. Um, it's chapter six though, so the enemies may get more dangerous. I think it was one of the boxes. There's an Orichalcum here, so I'm pretty sure I picked it up. Probably. Anyway, yeah, let's end it here. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. Let's not end it here. I forgot one thing. Before we end our town adventure, hopefully you didn't end the video already. You gotta talk to all your people! Yeah. I didn't have any problem with the snow since there's a heater in my machine, but I guess you got cold. Haha. <laughs> what a jerk. Oh. Winnie Winnie Nay Nay. So, I did realize that I missed one dragon during the last battle with uh, Galm. Technically, we could have tried to recruit an Earth Dragon, which would have been stronger than a Blue Dragon, but I didn't have the time to mess around with that. Bulzom is probably not our only enemy. Thanks, that's really insightful. Uh, we do know how to recruit them, thank you. It's like, do you know you could have recruited an Earth Dragon on the last battle, Blue? Do you know? Somehow, the Dragon Tribe of the North Region seems to be under the control of an evil force. Yeah, I mean, everywhere we've gone, the Dragons have been under control of an evil force, so I'm not surprised. Also, Chirp Chirp. I don't know how he's here and in the Hot Spring at the same time, but, you know. Although we drained Gal's power, we didn't kill him. I understand you're disappointed, Julian. He's really upset about it. The Sinbayas army hasn't arrived yet, nor has Midian. I believe Emperor Domeric is probably preventing Medion from leaving. Medion just never learned to stand up to his dad. My fur got all frizzy from the snowstorm. I would like to take a bath to freshen up. I'm not worried about my brother and his army, but the Symbios army who left before them haven't arrived in Dormont. It's like Vermont, except Dormont. Sinbayas is part of Jumsai. We must hurry to help him. The Rainbloods are extremely powerful. I ran them into them in Albusum. I believe they were sent against the Sinbayas army. Uh, Sinbayas has never run into them, has he? No, they were sent after the Albusum staff. That's the only time we ran into the Rainbloods, I think. I got so cold during that trek in the snow. Can I warm up by you for a while? That's what she wanted to say. We were saved from the Rainblood's immeasurable strength by Jubei's advice. If we had been caught off guard, the Sinbayas army was surely taken by surprise against them. Thanks, Prodin. You're my favorite. I heard this Rainblood split up. If Sinbayas vanished because of them, things will get complicated. It'll actually make it easier for his conquest of our kingdom when he finishes off if we're all dead, so it's part of his plan. If the murderous Imperial-controlled Rainbloods had laid a finger on the Sinbias army, I will slaughter them all because she's that tough. If we're gonna save the Sinbias army, we must return to the ancient road. It's alright, I can go out any time. You should have a look at Marky. She's got uh, level 3 rods, she's got magic bonus, she's got freeze 4, which is awesome, soul steal 2, which is okay, prosperina, which could do a lot of damage, 64, uh, I, I'm sure she gets prosperina 2, and it's probably a few levels away, but, you know, we could learn that if you wanted. Thing is, I don't think I have time to train her up to be friends with people, so, as cool as she is, I don't think she gets to join the team. Not the A team, anyway. The Sinbayas army advanced very quickly. Uh, surely the disappearance is due to the Rainbloods. We must hurry to help him. And you have no choice but to listen to me and Benetrim. Fine, give me your advice, Benetrim. As we were marching towards Arkeel, the Sinbayas army was stopped by the Rainbloods. 
even as we walked on the road to the shrine after the battle with Gal. Thanks, very helpful. Okay, well, I think that's everybody. So, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll clean up some inventory stuff off camera, and next time, we'll go search for Symbios. See you there.